What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the brand new Strimmer Plus version twos. So the installation is a, a little bit different than the version ones. And I'm gonna go through the whole step-by-step -step install like I did for the version ones, uh, just to help anyone out that wants to pick these up. Thank you to Lian Lee for sending these out for me to do these videos. I really, really appreciate it. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this install. So obviously, first things first, you got to unplug your GPU. I guess if it wasn't vertically mounted, you could probably keep it in the case, but I like to take it out, give myself a little extra room to work. And then, of course, also unplug your 24 pin from your motherboard. This one's a bit harder to unplug, so you're going to have to kind of wiggle it around like I did there and they should both unplug fairly easily. Now, I do have a full unboxing video on these brand new strimmers, and uh, if you wanna see that, the link will be down in the description for that video. Okay, so now we went ahead and took all the cables out and basically took out the GPU just so I have access to my USB ports down there. So you're gonna take your controller from the 24 pin. What you need to do is take this cable it's a USB cable and it says USB on this side and basically plug the other end of it into the controller. So once it's plugged in, we can head to the back. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug this SATA cable into our SATA port. Uh, basically, it comes off of your power supply and it should be one of these cables. Mine just happens to be right down here. So I'm gonna zoom in for you and show you how to plug this in. As you can see, there's like this little L. Uh, it basically just plugs in just like this. And there it is, it's plugged in. And basically now we're gonna go ahead and feed this through the bottom because that's where my USB ports are. So feed that through the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through the other side and I'll see you on the other side. So here it is on the other side. And basically you just have to match it up with that port right there and you might have to flip it. There's one pin missing, so there's no way you can plug this in wrong. Just make sure, don't try to like force it too hard. I apologize if it's a little dark, there you go. So I went ahead and just loosely plugged it in and then you just push it in and that's fully plugged in. Now you're ready to go ahead and start connecting your strimmer cables into your PC. Now, if for some reason you already have two there, and you need to plug these in, you can go ahead and buy one of these. It's basically a USB extender. So it has the same one that we just plugged in uh, down there. And then basically you can have two off of one. So works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. But yeah, if, uh, I'll have a link down in the description if you're interested. All right, now that you got all that plugged in, you can actually start plugging in your GPU. You can start reinstalling some of the stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my GPU and I'll see you in a second. All right, so I got my GPU back in place. Everything's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start by installing the 24 pin. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go ahead and just try to like bend it and connect it into the 24 pin slot right here. So again, you just press it in until it clicks. There it goes, it clicked now. And then basically just Flip this, don't forget to feed this cable through. You gotta feed that to the back and then kind of feed everything to the back. However, obviously every case is different. In my case, this is how I'm gonna feed it right here. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this eight pin. So one thing I noticed, again, just like my other strimmers, I actually have to flip these. So actually flipping these is a lot easier than the previous models. So I'm gonna show you that real quick right now. You take these clear clips off. These little things here on the on the GPU side, you just press these in. You can use like a, you can use either your fingernails or like a little tool and then this comes off and then do the same for this one here. So again, you just press those two in together, pop it off just like that. They do include white ones if you wanna install them because these do come off as well. So you, you just pull these right off. They have like a little alignment hole. So you can install the white ones if you want. I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna leave those black just like that. And then on this side, on the front, where it says Lian Lee, you just grab one side with your fingernail. You pull it to the side until you kinda of get it unaligned. And then just pop it completely off. 
You're going to flip your cables now, put them back just like that, and then take that piece you just took off and slowly kind of stretch it over. Don't worry about them being perfectly aligned just yet because these are pretty easy to move around once they're clipped in. So now it's, it's basically clipped in. Just align it just like that. And then on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing with these. So basically take these, make sure you align them properly. What I like to do is actually stick the cable in there first, just like that. And then basically clip it in just like that. And then you can, you know, adjust the cable how you want it. And then same thing with this one. And now they are flipped over and I can plug these into my GPU and send them to the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the back first. I did forget to put this clear clip on. You can do that after, once you adjust everything. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it right now. So put that in there. And then basically, you just plug this right into your GPU like you would any normal cable. Because these are separated, they're a bit easier to plug in because you can plug in one at a time, which is great. So once you got them plugged in, just make sure to clip it in. There we go, I just heard a little click. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to the back and uh, finish installing everything into the controller. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and plug our 24 pin into the cable itself. So this is my 24 pin that comes off of the power supply. So just align those two. There we go, I heard that click. And then obviously you're gonna wanna tie everything back down. I'm not gonna do that on camera because I don't wanna waste your time. And then you're gonna do your GPU cables, uh, the same ones you either unplugged or if you're building a new PC, they come off of your power supply. So they should say like PCIe or something like that on them. Mine are red so I can easily find them. Um, and then just plug them in there like you would to your GPU, just like that. So now they're plugged in. Now the final step to the actual physical install is to plug in your cables into your controller. So the controller has two options. If you got the GPU cable that is three by eight, you would use this port here and you would flip this switch right here to the three by eight port. If you're using the same ones as me, you're gonna flip the switch towards this one. So that means this port is now active and plug that in there just like that. The 24 pin off of your motherboard goes in on the bottom side of this, just like that there. And then you can tuck everything away. The only thing left to do now is the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the software and roughly how to kind of control things. So now we're gonna go ahead and, and install L Connect 3. So this is Lian Lee's newest software. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this website. I'm gonna have it linked down in the description for you. Click download. So then go to downloads and you're gonna extract everything and basically go ahead and double click that. If you get this, this is directly from Lian Lee, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it anyways because I trust Lian Lee. <laughs> go through the install like you normally would. I'm gonna go ahead and close out L Connect 2 and I'm gonna run L Connect 3 now. So let's see. Click right here. This is your streamers. So they are currently on rainbow mode. So you can actually control them individually and you can control each part of it individually. All right, so basically you can go through these settings and there on screen you can see that effect right there and then you can select this one. You can actually, if you wanna do the uh, apply to all, you can do that and then both of them will uh, do their thing just like that. Let's say you want to, what's blow up? Let's see what that is. Apply to all. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So that's how you install the Lian Lee Strimmer Plus version two into your PC. Whether that's a brand new PC or an older PC, just make sure if your GPU has a three by eight by the three by eight strimmer. And then if your GPU has a two by eight, then get this version. They don't have just a one by eight. So that's all I got for you in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the install or the software or anything, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer any questions if I know how to answer them. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.